Hello Twin Flames and welcome to the DM to the F reading for Saturday. So we're going to bring in again this gorgeous deck by Sandra from World Illuminator 11. Divine Masculine, the love and the progress. I love this deck, it's so powerful. So what does your masculine want to say to you today? Here we go, straight out the deck. And what they're guiding me to do as well is actually complement this with Sandra's other deck. Divine Masculine, Honesty and Realizations. So what else do they want to say to you? Wow. Okay, so your masculine is saying to you, I love it when you are happy. I can feel it. Keep smiling and being happy. Now, this has come out over the last few days. The masculine is saying to you, I love your smile. I love it when you're happy, when you're enjoying yourself. You know, as a divine feminine, sometimes things can get a bit serious. You know, we can lose our smile. We can be in pain. We can struggle and, you know, not be enjoying this journey at all. And your masculine is saying, I love it when you're happy. I love it when you're working on you and enjoying yourself and shining bright. I can feel that energy. Please keep smiling. Please keep being happy. It's like he's saying, I'm so sorry if I've made you sad or I've hurt your feelings or, you know, I've turned that frown. You know, I've turned that happy smile to a frown. So he's saying, turn that frown upside down. He's letting you know that when you smile, he feels that light and love. And he's saying, you are beautiful and perfect for me. I'm so attracted to you. And when you smile, Divine Feminine, he's just, wow, you know, he can't help but smile too. You know, he loves your smile, the way you are, the way you look, the way you shine, everything about you. And he's saying, you are perfect for me, just as you are. You are beautiful and I'm so attracted to you. So maybe there's another reason today why you may be a bit sad because you're thinking, I don't even know if he's attracted to me. I don't even know if he wants me in that way. I don't even know how he feels. He's saying to you, please don't doubt how I feel. Of course, I'm attracted to you. I am working on myself. And this really resonates with the energy from yesterday. He's saying, I am doing the work. I know what I'm doing. Trust me. I am working on myself. So when the masculines are working on themselves, you know, it can be frustrating for the feminine because he seems to be distracted or busy or not around. But it's also the perfect time to work on ourselves to fill back up our cup because we may be feeling drained or depleted or tired and we may have lost that smile. So when we give back to ourselves, our smile returns, we feel happy again, we feel vibrant again, rejuvenated again, filled with love again. And he's saying to you, I'm trying to get past my fears because I want to marry you. Wow. Now, this is a huge thing because, you know, as we move forward, especially within 2023 and 24, the years of communication and commitment, things are changing. And a lot of the masculines have fears around marriage. They may be fears around marriage because of their childhood. Maybe they were around divorce or abuse or arguments or problems within their parents' marriage or things they've seen. They may have ideas about how marriage should be from films, shows and things that really aren't real that make them insecure about living up to that stereotype. They may have issues because they've been married before and it hasn't worked out and they're afraid of you know, losing something again within themselves. They're afraid of losing you. They don't want to let you down. So there's many, many reasons why the masculines can fear marriage. They may fear the, you know, social obligation to maybe have a lot of people there. Maybe that's on the mind or maybe they don't like the thought of signing the life away or they don't like the thought of control. Or there's many, many things, you know, the piece of paper can scare them more than the event itself. And he's saying, I'm working through my fears around marriage because I want to marry you. And this really resonates with me as a twin in union because even my twin, George, has issues around marriage. So this is big, you know, this is big for twins in union, out of union, separation. You know, whatever stage of your journey you are in, your masculine is saying to you, I want to get past my fears of commitment so I can marry you. That's huge. He's saying this love that I feel for you, this is true love. And that's why he wants to marry you. So again, it doesn't matter if he's had a bad marriage, 10 bad marriages. He's not going to put him off being with you. He just has to work through his fears. Even if he said to you, I'm never getting married or that's not what I want. In his heart, he knows he does. And he's saying to you, I'm currently working on freeing myself from my karmic ties, my fears and all that's holding me back from being with you. So if you're thinking, well, that's all well and good, Liz, but he's already married, or he's already involved with someone else. He's saying to you, I'm working on freeing myself from that. 
from that marriage, from that situation, that living arrangement, so that I can be with you, so I can be free to be with you. He's saying to you, my life is mundane and meaningless without you, and I'm tired of living like this. I'm going to do whatever it takes to ensure that I have you back in my life. I'm tired. So he's tired too. You may be tired, divine feminine, but he's tired too. He isn't sleeping very well. You know, he's feeling very lethargic, drained, and he's tired of your situation. He's tired of the eat, sleep, repeat, going round and round in circles. He is grateful for you. I'm forever grateful for you, my love, and I look forward to telling you that in person someday soon. So he wants to tell you how you inspire him and guide him and light him up inside. And he's saying, freedom. I'm doing what I need to do to find my freedom. I'm finding myself and freeing myself from all that holds me back from being with you. And that's what they give me intuitively. I'm finding myself. And in turn, I'm freeing myself from everything that's holding me back. He's saying, vision, I want you to know that I'm focused on the vision of having a wonderful life with you and I'm working towards this every day. That vision of you in his dreams when he's daydreaming and planning and plotting. And he's saying, I'm doing everything I can to work through my karmic situation, my karmic binds and my fears around commitment so I can be with you. I want to marry you because you are all that I desire and more. So let that put your mind at rest today, Divine Feminine. He is attracted to you. He does want you. He does want a future with you. But if he's quiet or distant or silent, he's protecting you from the drama of his own life, from his own self sometimes. He wants to give to you, but he needs to be in a position where he's able to do so. So don't get angry or frustrated or blame him if he's holding himself back. He's doing it to protect you. And at the right time, in the right way, he'll come forward and he'll tell you exactly how he feels, what's on his mind. And there'll be that ring and that proposal and everything you want. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.